Hey guys, this is Justin back with an engineer's perspective. And today we are testing the Mini Crooked River in a S30V. I sharpened it on the WorkSharp blade grinding attachment using these belts. I did X65, X45, X22, X5, the 12,000 grit micro mesh. These are all the stiff belts, by the way. 12,000 grit micro mesh with chrome oxide rubbed into it. And then uh, the cloth belt strop with uh, chrome oxide rubbed, it, rubbed into it and one micron diamond gunny juice. Um, all that was at 18 degrees per side. The purpose was to match the sharpening that was done on this KME. So I did three sharpenings on the KME that roughly matched that progression. Um, so I did all that. Then this is just for those who don't know what's going on here. <clears throat> then I tested the final sharpness after sharpening on this best tester. The average for the work sharp that I sharpening I just did is 120 grams. I'm going to do 10 cuts on this three quarter inch manila rope from Home Depot. Uh, I'm gonna measure the sharpness. Then I'm gonna do 10 more and measure it again. After 20 cuts, that'll be the final sharpness. Um, each cut consists of kind of a one, two, three, four, and that's one cut, one, two, three, four, two cuts, so on and so forth. Um, I think I've covered my bases. The, the hope for me is to see the difference in edge retention between WorkSharp and KME. Okay, so I think that's everything we need, so let's just uh, get, and yes, I'm wearing a glove because I've got weak hands, I guess. So, all right, let's do this. So, one, two, three, four. So, it takes a second to get into a rhythm here. So, there's one, two, three. Four, five, six. Nine, ten. Right, is that right? Frick, so I gotta pay attention. I'm not gonna play the video back. I believe that was ten. set up and everything wipe it off two seventy Two seventy-five. Not gonna do a third because those are in very close agreement. So average of two seventy-three. Tell 
10 more cuts. And I'm not super practiced at this, just if you haven't figured that out, but just trying. So. Two. Three, four, five, six, Seven, eight, nine. So, real quick, I've done a lot of uh, cardboard edger tension testing in the past, and it's way better. <laughs> uh, I'm probably going to keep using this rope while I have it. Um, I bought 50 feet of it, but the cardboard is way less expensive, and it's way easier to do, and it's a lot easier to be consistent. I mean, there's a technique I'm sure you got to develop here, but man, does that suck. Okay, after 20 cuts. Three twenty five. Two seventy. Let's get a third number in there. You know, below one hundred and fifty, I can usually be within five of each measurement. Not always, but roughly. And then between like one hundred and fifty and two hundred, within like ten. But above that, I just don't test in this region much, so it's hard to say. Two eighty five. Huh. Not a huge increase on the back end. One more for good measure. What the heck? Two seventy five. Okay. Well, I don't know exactly what that average is, but I'm guessing it's about we'll say two hundred and ninety ish. So at two hundred and ninety, that is an increase of one hundred and seventy. So that's uh absolute increase. That is less that is better theoretically than uh, the KME. So that is unfortunate. I don't think it's actually better. 
but what may end up happening is there's not enough granularity to tell the difference between the two. But final results, so I'm gonna cut the video here, but final results will follow. I'm gonna do the three more tests to get a real, real average, a real feel for it. And then uh, I'll, after I do that, then uh, I will make a kind of the wrap up video and I'll say this is what the KME did. This is what the WorkSharp did. And, you know, it's very possible um, cause I mean, there's multiple things going on sharpening something like S30V on the WorkSharp. One, there's the non-ideal abrasives, right? So the aluminum oxide. Maybe can deal with that with the silicon carbide and the diamond, possibly. The other thing that's going on um, is uh, heat. Is with that belt system, um, uh, even though your edge doesn't feel hot, is it has the propensity of uh, warming up the edge ever you know just like more than you think it will it will warm it up a lot but it's just such a thin cross section of metal especially the very apex that the apex still gets super hot and uh, will basically temper the steel so that it's soft and then so the different steel chemistries will react to that differently um but that's that's the the confirmed thing that's a real thing that happens with um, sharpening on belts. So now, the way they design the work sharp here, the, the Ken Onion, is, uh, and I saw so sharpening on low speed, so there's, that's less heat. They very specially design the belts, to my knowledge, to reduce that heating up. When I was sharpening it, I wasn't just laying, in, laying into it either. Um, that helps. And then once again, um, it's very possible that, that these ending belts removed that tempered steel, possibly. So we might be able to get around those issues, but I'm, I am pretty excited to see how this edge retention shakes out. Um, the actual edge itself in the light has some noticeable blunting. Uh... Will not catch on the fingernail. So we'll, you can slide cut the paper through the blunt section, but it's not gonna push cut it. So that's the, the end state. It's, it's on its way out. I wouldn't say it's still sharp. It's very much so on its way out. So that's all I've got for this one. I'm going to do the next two, uh, two tests on the WorkSharp, document that, and then I'll make a video for you guys wrapping it all up. So thank you for watching. Have a good one. Bye.